Hello, everyone. I have a mind-blowing geometry problem for you. We have a rectangle that's been divided into four parts by two perpendicular lines. The area of this top left region is 15, the bottom left is 6, and the bottom right is 14. But the top right region, shaded in green, is a mystery. Can you figure out its area? Let's go step by step to solve it. Suppose the area of this unknown region is x. Consider the length of this vertical segment is a. Since it's a rectangle and the lines are perpendicular, the opposite vertical segment is also a. Similarly, let the length of this segment as b. Then, the opposite segment is also b. Now, suppose the horizontal segment has length c. So, its opposite segment is also c. And finally, if the remaining horizontal segment is d, then the opposite segment is also d. Now, focus on this green rectangle. Its length is a, and its width is C. The area is given as 15, so we can write the equation AC equals 15. Let's call this equation number 1. Similarly, in this green rectangle, the length is C and the width is B. The area is given as 6, so we get the equation. B, C equals 6. Let's call this equation number 2. Now, in this third rectangle, the length is D and the width is B. The area is given as 14. So, we get the equation B, D equals 14. Call this equation number 3. Now, in this desired rectangle, the length is D, and the width is A. The area is the unknown value we called X. So, we can write the equation. AD equals X. Call this equation number 4. Now, multiplying equation 2 and 4, we get BC times AD is equal to 6X. Simplifying this, we can rewrite ABCD is equal to 6X. Again, multiplying equation 1 and 3, we get AC times BD is equal to 15 times 14. Simplifying this, we can rewrite ABCD is equal to 15 times 14. Finally, Let's focus on these two equations. Since the left side of both equations is the same, the right side must also be equal. Therefore, we can write 6x is equal to 15 times 14. Now, divide both sides by 6. We can rewrite the equation as x is equal to 15 times 14 divided by 6. Therefore, the value of x is 35. So, the unknown area is 35. And that's our answer. Hold on. I have a practice problem for you. Can you find the value of this unknown area in terms of a, b, and c? Drop your answer in the comments below, and let's see who gets it right. Thanks a lot for watching and supporting the channel. Until next time, bye-bye.